Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today a lunch banquet hosted by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland at the Windsor Castle on the occasion of His Majesty's attendance to the Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen exchanged friendly talks on the deep-rooted historic relations between the two royal families and kingdoms and the progress of the relations between the two countries in various domains. Also, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland and the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum at the Endurance Village at the Windsor Great Park. The meeting was held on the occasion of His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth attendance of the International Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty also met with Andrew, the Duke of York, and the British Conservative Party politician, Minister of State for Europe and the Americas at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Mr. Alan Duncan, and Sheikh Fahad bin Falah bin Hithleen. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for inviting him to attend the annual horse show pointing out to the two kingdoms rich heritage and cultures. His Majesty the King exchanged cordial talks with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid on Bahrain's outstanding relations with the United Kingdom and the United Arab Emirates, hailing them as long-standing ties based on mutual respect and coordination at all levels. Talks also focused on the importance of promoting and spreading such a deep-rooted sport locally and globally. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II witnessed part of the international endurance race held at the Windsor Great Park over 120 kilometers with the participation of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, alongside a number of horse riders from the UAE as well as from GCC and European countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser ranked first place at the Royal Windsor Horse Show and was congratulated by His Majesty the King, Her Majesty the Queen and the UAE Vice President on the sport achievement. Then His Majesty the King bade farewell to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. In a statement, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in the attendance of UAE's Vice President and his support of all the jockeys affirming that this race is an opportunity for the race participants to gain experiences. His Majesty the King was welcomed at the Royal Windsor Race Course by the Royal Endurance Team Captain Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior organizers of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented a briefing on the stages and distance of the race, as well as the number of participating horse riders. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to promote the popular equestrian sport. His Majesty the King also praised the role played by the Royal Endurance Team in promoting the sport and hailed its keenness on participating in various regional Arab and international competitions and championships.
The Deputy of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has sent a congratulatory cable to the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of winning the title of the International Royal Windsor Horse Show held at Windsor in the United Kingdom yesterday. His Royal Highness the Deputy King expressed pride in His Highness Sheikh Nasser's determination and resolve to attain the prestigious sports achievements and constant keenness to raise the kingdom's banners at various international sports gatherings. The Deputy King lauded His Highness Sheikh Nasser's historic victory, noting that the win confirms Bahrain's citizens' ability to honor their country and attain the best results and top positions, wishing His Highness Sheikh Nasser further success in future sports competitions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the Philippine Secretary of Foreign Affairs Alan Peter Caetano, who is currently visiting the Kingdom. Also present at the meeting was the Philippines President Special Envoy to the Gulf Cooperation Council States, Dr. Amabel Aguiles. Both sides reviewed the means of developing bilateral relations in the framework of agreements and memorandums of understanding conducted and in the interests of both countries. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister welcomed the Philippines Foreign Affairs Secretary who conveyed the greetings of the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Royal Highness and to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people further progress and advancement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the ties that bond the two countries are based on firm understandings towards many regional and international issues and poses elements that qualify them to embark on a broader level of constructive cooperation. His Royal Highness asked the Secretary of Foreign Affairs to convey his greetings and appreciation to the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, and recalled in this regard the successful visit of the Philippine President to the Kingdom and the result understandings that contributed to strengthening of the distinguished bilateral relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pleasure in the course of the joint cooperation between the two countries that is continuously developing in various sectors, which reflect the depth of these relations that are based on a long history of understanding and true mutual respect. His Royal Highness noted that the importance of exchanging visits between the officials of both countries as such visits result in a positive outcome in regards to increasing joint cooperation in the economic, commercial and investment sectors. He also hailed the role of the Filipino community in Bahrain and their role in the development parts of the Kingdom, asserting the respect and appreciation this community receives. The Philippine Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the warm welcome accorded to him lauding his role in enhancing bilateral relations. He hailed the Prime Minister's interest in expanding areas of cooperation between the Gulf Cooperation Council and Asian countries in various fields at the bilateral level or through the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. He stressed his country's appreciation of the care enjoyed by the Filipino community in Bahrain, highlighting the Philippines' keenness on developing the cooperation with the Kingdom to meet the joint aspirations. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Head of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented his victory to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, lauding Bahrain's achievements in all areas, especially in the endurance sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the presence of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, and the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is the biggest honor and win for all the participants in the race and had a positive impact in achieving the first place in the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the follow-up of His Majesty the King to him during the race gave a strong impetus to achieve first place in the race and overcome all the challenges that faced him. His Highness also said that the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum had predicted two months before the race that he would win the race in Windsor. His Highness said that the race was strong and difficult due to the great competition by the various horsemen participating in the four stages of the race, saying that the remarkable achievement in the race is in the interest of the Bahraini endurance team and gives them a strong impetus to achieve more achievements in the upcoming tournaments. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the success of the festival is a great opportunity to highlight Bahrain's present and past achievements.
under the patronage and presence of the first vice president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and honorary president of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 12th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship under the slogan Legend with participation of 30 players from 16 countries took place. Also present were the Indonesian Minister of Youth and Sports, Iman Narawi, President of the Indonesian Martial Arts Federation, Mr. Fumi, Bahrain's Ambassador to Indonesia, Hamad Ghassan Sheikho, and a number of senior Indonesian officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed pride at the efforts and facilities offered by Indonesia to organize the Brave Fighting Championship, which clearly reflects its interest in the success of the event on its territory. His Highness noted the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue to work to highlight Bahrain's sport in a way that enhances its global presence on the sports map and its reputation and prestige internationally. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa also appreciated the outstanding efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for their support to the sports sector in the kingdom. Also, His Highness Sheikh Khaled raised the steps taken by His Majesty the King's Representative for Charitable and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to promote Bahrain sport, asserting that the follow-up and support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the championship contributed to the continuation of the championship's success and excellence. His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad said that efforts are continuing to promote Bahrain's vision of mixed martial arts, adding that this is in the interest of enhancing uh, the strong presence on the kingdom in the sport at the global level through the Brave Fighting Championship. His Highness said that the 13th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship will be held in Belfast, Northern Ireland, within the program set for the tournament. His Highness also commended the level of combat and the performance of the players in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Khaled also attended the main fight between fighter Alder Alderov and Brian Hoy.
always happy when uh, I win, not easy, and when I win hard. After this fight, I will enjoy more. After easy win, it's not same feeling, so I'm very happy, alhamdulillah. After fight, Sheikh Khalid is number one who support me, and when I cut weight, I cut 10 kg last week, and he sit with me in sauna sometimes 40 minutes, 20 minutes, just to support me. It's big motivation, and he's the real leader of our team and example for me. It makes uh, more glamour the Indonesia because it's Sheikh Khalid himself, right? So I hope it, it will bring uh, more uh, creativity of Indonesia, and Indonesia can go international also in, into the MMA. Under the patronage of Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the new premises of the AMA International School was inaugurated and the foundation stone of the Athena School for Special Needs in Isadan was laid down this morning in the presence of the Philippine Presidential Envoy to the GCC States, Dr. Amabel Aguiles, and the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa expressed his pleasure at opening the new building of the AMA International School and laying the foundation for the Athena Special Needs School as it represents a great addition to the education sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He stressed that the interest in the educational sector and cooperating is a fundamental approach in the thinking and vision of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, who believes in the need to upgrade the human element and invest in education and training so that it can contribute to the development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as the various sectors. He pointed to the importance of the role of the private sector in improving the educational process in the kingdom through the establishment of schools and educational establishments which are characterized by quality and keep pace with the latest international educational systems. He praised the school's educational programs and advanced practical activities through which it managed to graduate distinguished students. For his part, the Minister of Education stressed that the celebration is an affirmation of the interest of His Majesty the King's leadership in supporting investment in private education, encouraging it and upgrading it to serve the overall development goals. He added that the AMA International School is one of the 73 private educational institutions in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which includes more than 83,000 students from different nationalities and plays a vital role in providing a variety of educational services that meet the needs of all groups in the field of education, as well as in the fields of student activities.
The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mr. Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, welcomed last night at Bahrain International Airport the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Alan Peter Caetano, who arrived on an official visit. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs welcomed the visit of the Philippines Foreign Minister to the Kingdom, noting the continuous development of the relations between the two countries in the light of the strong relations between them and the joint interest in developing and upgrading the relations in various fields. For his part, the Philippine Foreign Minister expressed his happiness to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain, praising the deep relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries. Also present at the airport were the Under Secretary of the Minister of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the Philippines to Bahrain, Mr. Alfonso Ferdinand. The Shura Council delegation which participated in the activities of This is Bahrain held in London lauded the speech of His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, Duke of York, in which the delegation reviewed the experience of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the environment of openness and development in various political, economic, social and cultural aspects. The group stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed under the reform project of His Majesty the King a great leap forward at all levels, including strengthening the culture of tolerance and rapprochement between religions at the internal and external levels. Invited by His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, Duke of York, members of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad International Center for Peaceful Coexistence, chaired by Vice President of the Council, Betsy Matheson, and President of the European Council of the World Organization for Religious Freedom, Mr. Derek McCauley, met to discuss and exchange ideas and views on the prospects of cooperation between the two sides where each party presented an overview of their objectives and experiences and highlighted future plans. Mr. McCauley expressed his admiration for Bahrain's pioneering experience in religious, sectarian and ethnic coexistence and harmony, praising the level of intellectual openness and acceptance of the other and his great admiration for embracing more than 20 diverse cultures living in peace and harmony within the rights of everyone who lives on their land. That reflects a true vision of a leader who has continued the approach of parents and grandparents in adhering to the values of humanity and tolerance, which reflects a long-standing civilization.